Okay, so I thought I would do an updated video to show you pretty much the finished solar panel that I've been working on for a while. The only thing that I don't have on is I don't have the glass top on, and I think I'm going to use glass rather than plexiglass because I tried to build a panel before, and it didn't work out too good, and I used plexiglass, and it really warped and, you know, everything else it didn't work too good. So I'm going to go get a piece of glass cut. But here's what I did, and, and from my last video, this is the same thing. I, I have my box now, and I have these little three-quarter inch high um, um, screen molds to go around the edges, and I have the whole thing painted white uh, with three or four coats of kill, so that sucker is sealed and waterproof. And I have my cells all stuck down, as you can see. I have my cells stuck down, and, and I've, got them all, I've got them all soldered up with the bus wire on this end, and it comes back to the bus wire. Uh, you know, the, the middle two strings of cells are connected, and now the bus wire from my negative side, this is my negative side, it goes over and connects to a black wire, which is nice, and the positive side connects to a red wire, which is pretty nice. Now, these, the black and the red wire go right through the panel with a hole, and all I did is I went to Radio Shack, and I got myself a little box. And in the box, I got myself a little two-position bus bar, and I glued it into the bottom of this box, and I connected my wires. Red to one side, black to the other side, and I got my, my wire coming out uh, to hook it up to my charge controller and everything else, and everything will be great. It's a couple different things. The only thing I haven't done really is I haven't... I haven't, these are a little bit loose, I'm going to stick those down with silicone, I'm going to put the top on, and I'm going to silicone in all the cracks and everything else. Uh, there's a couple things on how I mounted things. I mounted the cells, I didn't use pegboard because I didn't like pegboard, but I mounted the cells to a piece of door skin. And this is a very thin piece of door skin, this is actually what you would buy to reskin a interior hollow core door. And see, it's, it's very flimsy, uh, but it doesn't have the pegboard holes, so it looks kind of cool. And as you can see, there is no pegboard holes. So what I did is I just cut that to fit inside my box, gave it a couple of coats of white kills, uh, two or three coats of white kills, and I stuck my cells to it. Now, how I stuck the strings of cells on is I didn't use silicone because I didn't want to use silicone. I used some of these guys, Scotch one-inch mounting squares, the heavy-duty kind, and you can see they're one, one-inch plugs, and there's like 48 of them in the box, and there's on that little the two-by-two two thing, is, it's, uh, it's sectioned off into four one-inch little strips, and they're, they're adhesive on both sides, so you, you know, you, and it, here's all, all the waste paper, here's about how big it is, you, you peel it off, you stick that sucker onto the substrate, and then you stick the cell to it. It's kind of hard, but, but as you can see, they are flat O on there. And they're, they're not, it, there's not a big blob of silicone under each and every cell. Um, and it, it really comes out looking pretty good. And, hey, look at that. I got them straight. And they're all soldered up. This was actually the easiest part of the thing. The hardest part of the biggest pain was building the box and building the substrata to go in there and soldering the cells together. After that, to stick them down and hook them up, that was the easy part. So we're all hooked up. I took it out in the sun. It doesn't have a top on it, so it's not ready to go outside yet, but it will be in a couple of days. But I took it out, and I hooked it up, and we're, we are, we're right at 19 volts and about 3.5 amps. So looks good. Tell me what you think.